have some big time 4K rumors coming in hot including Terminator and Purple Rain on 4K. Vestron Video announces more cool Blu-ray steel books that are Walmart exclusives. Ghostbusters Frozen Empire debuted in theaters this weekend but it already has 4Ks, Blu-rays and steel books available to pre-order. Imprint announces an incredible June slate including a Martin Scorsese box set. Rango gets a 4K steel book announcement for Paramount. Kino Lorber drops some fire with Bad Lieutenant on 4K. Looks like we're getting more Matt Damon on 4K with another Matt Stone and Trey Parker 4K release. And if we actually get the Nightmare on Elm Street remake before we get the original Nightmare on 4K, I will burn my entire collection to the ground. All this and more than the latest physical media report. Stay tuned. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the Mid-Level Media Channel, your hub for everything physical media and entertainment. I am Ken. Today, guys, we are here for the Physical Media Report, episode 204. That is right, guys, your weekly dose a physical media goodness where we talk about everything new and exciting in the world of 4K and Blu-ray. And man, oh man, do I have a show for you today. We have got so much to talk about. We've got exciting rumors. We've got a ton of news. We've got deals. We've got what is new this week. And I swear there's about 165 titles coming out this week. It's about the biggest week of physical media that I've ever seen. It's absolutely crazy. It's madness. Whoever said physical media is dead obviously does not watch this show, The Physical Media Report, because if they did, they would know it was alive and well. But guys, look, I'm excited to be here. Before we get into it, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. It's a simple thing, guys. We cover physical media, movies. If you like that kind of stuff, you'll enjoy this channel. Hit the subscribe button. Also, hit the like button. Another very easy thing to do, guys. There are two buttons. Subscribe, like, hit them both. And also, comment down below, guys, of everything that we go over today and like i said we've got a lot a lot of stuff to talk about what are you the most excited about what are you the most amped up for and what gets your juices on what makes your juices loose let me know that in the comment section below sorry guys i just watched the beetlejuice beetlejuice trailer and he says the juice is loose um but anyway things are already getting weird guys I, my my juice is flowing phrase is already strange enough the juice is loose the juice flowing is loose that's weird as well Let's get started today, guys, and we're going to start with some very exciting rumors, um, one that I've been talking about for quite some time, one that I, I pretty much almost guaranteed was probably coming to 4K this year because it is the 40th anniversary, and we did just get all of those James Cameron titles, so it makes sense that we would get James Cameron's first official film. I know he did Prana 2 The Spawning, but he doesn't even recognize that himself. And that is, of course, The Terminator from 1984 is supposed to be getting a 4K from Warner Brothers sometime in August of this year. The listing of this was found on a website. I think it's a foreign website, FNAC.com. I'm not too familiar with this website, but I saw this on the Blu-ray.com forums. And they basically linked to this website. I went to it and you could see the pre-order for the Terminator on 4K. And this, of course, will be the 40th anniversary um, edition. So like I said, this is just a rumor. But usually when you see a pre-order pop up, that's a pretty heavy indication uh, that the release is actually, in fact, coming. But, you know, I, I get it, guys. You don't want to believe it till you actually see the cover art, the official cover art, the announcement, uh, the bonus features, all that good stuff. But the Terminator on 4k guys from warner brothers a lot of people weren't sure where this would come from what studio would put this out and apparently warner brothers does own the rights to the terminator now because they did put out that poll asking their community members their amc list a list members i, I don't know warner brothers a list i think is what not amc um what titles they would like to see come to 4k and the terminator was on that list so apparently they own warner brothers um, I, I know that this is an MGM title, but I guess because MGM's owned by Amazon and Warner Brothers does distribute um, Amazon stuff sometimes. I know they put out Air last year and that was an Amazon film. So I know there's some kind of correlation there, affiliation there between Warner Brothers and Amazon and by proxy would be MGM as well. So it does kind of make sense that Warner Brothers would be the one to distribute this on 4K. Now, are they going to be doing the restoration? 
I don't exactly know. I mean, I don't really have a lot of details on this other than this pre-order being up. Now, of course, there's a lot of skepticism in the air over James Cameron and his ability to properly restore one of his films. All of his movies just got put out on 4K, three of them, and they're all kind of being criticized in one way or the other. Um, so the Terminator, guys, we're excited for it because we want to see the Terminator in 4K, but also keep in mind that this movie, if James Cameron's involved in the restoration, is probably going to look similar uh, to True Lies, The Abyss, and Aliens. At least I would think so. I don't, I don't feel like he would do anything different with The Terminator. I feel like he would do kind of the same thing. And to be honest, like I don't mind, I didn't mind seeing True Lies the way it was presented. But the Terminator, I, I don't know if I'd be okay with the Terminator looking like True Lies looked. And I haven't checked out The Abyss or Aliens yet because I just got The Abyss in the mail um, yesterday. So I will be checking that out soon. And Aliens is supposed to come tomorrow. But I, I don't know, guys. Terminator, it's a very dark, it's a very gritty film. I need to see that with film grain. I need to see that restored to its natural state looking fantastic. I, I need somebody like Aero Video doing that. I need somebody like Vinegar Syndrome doing that, doing a nice 4K restoration. I I am very nervous. Hopefully, James Cameron's involvement is at a minimum, but knowing James Cameron, it probably won't be. But the Terminator, guys, I'm still excited. I'm still excited to get a cool edition of the Terminator. Hopefully, we get steel books and all that stuff since it's Warner Brothers. Um, but I know that's the last on the list of what should matter, but I do like that kind of aesthetical stuff. I will buy everything, everything they put out for the Terminator. This is one of my all time, uh, favorite movies. I absolutely love the first Terminator as I do T2 as well. Um, but yeah, let me know if you're excited for the Terminator. Let me know if you're, um, if you're worried about the restoration for the Terminator in the comments section below, but let's go ahead and jump into the next rumor guys. And that is purple rain is supposed to be coming to 4k as well sometime this year. Also celebrating its 40th anniversary. This movie came out in 1984 and look guys, I got it on the screen back there. Purple rain is freaking iconic. I know a lot of people are super excited for purple rain to come to 4k. This listing is already up on blu-ray.com. So there's an even heavier indication that we will in fact um, get this one on 4k because it's already up on blu-ray.com 40th anniversary. I think this one's a no brainer. Warner brothers, will be putting this out and I'm a pretty I'm a pretty big fan of Purple Rain. I definitely love it for the music. Prince is definitely one of the greatest artists of all time. Like I'm a big fan um, of Prince, but I think this movie will look incredible in 4K and it's definitely 4K worthy in my opinion. So definitely a really exciting announcement coming out of Warner Brothers. Again, a rumor, but there's definitely very heavy indication that we will be getting Purple Rain at some point this year on 4K. And let me know if you're excited for that in the comment section below. All right, this next one, guys, we just, I, I was kind of scratching my head about this one because we just got a Blu-ray from Shout Factory, I feel like six months ago. And now we are getting a Team America World Police um, on 4K release from Paramount. There is a listing on Blu-ray.com for this one as well. This makes sense. It's the 20th anniversary. It's another Matt Stone, Trey Parker film. This was, I believe, their follow-up movie uh, to South Park, Bigger, Longer, and Uncut, which is celebrating its 25th anniversary. And we're also supposed to be getting that on 4K this year. So we will be getting both of these on 4K, I imagine, from Paramount. Hopefully some nice steel books, some nice slip covers. Um, I honestly, like, I remember liking this movie and laughing when I watched it for the first time. I haven't seen Team America since it came out back in 2004. I remember liking the movie, but I don't remember like ever wanting to watch it again. So I will probably pick this up and rewatch it, but I can't say that I'm super excited to rewatch Team America World Police. The only thing I really remember from it is the whole Matt Damon thing. Matt Damon. Um, but sure, I'll, I'll, I'll get Team America World Police. Give me a nice steelbook or something with a slipcover. I'll pick it up. Now let's get into the next rumor, guys. And this is a dirty nasty rumor that I do not like whatsoever at all. The A Nightmare on Elm Street remake is supposedly getting a 4K. There is a listing for this on FNAC as well, this foreign website. There's a 4K listing for the A Nightmare on Elm Street remake. And this, I guess, would be coming out from Warner Brothers. I know that Platinum Dunes did this back in 2010. So I don't think this was affiliated with New Line Cinema, who is now owned by Warner Brothers. But maybe Warner Brothers, since they own Nightmare on Elm Street, have gotten the rights to the remake. I, I don't know. 
But if we get the remake on 4K before they do the original on 4K, I think all hell is going to break loose. Like people are going to go insane. Um, so I, I would hope that Warner Brothers is a little smarter than that. And I hope maybe that this just somehow showed up on this website. And maybe this is actually an indication that we're getting the entire franchise on 4K. They're going to be doing the first one through the remake on 4K, giving us a nice box set. That I would not mind. I don't like the remake. I probably wouldn't watch it too many times if I owned it in this collection. But I wouldn't mind having it in the collection of the original seven Nightmare on Elm Street movies plus the remake on 4K. Sure, throw it in there. It's a part of the franchise, whether you like it or not. That's fine. But like... If you j just do the remake, and look, if you do the remake before you do any of the Nightmare on Elm Street sequels, including Freddy's Dead, I will riot. I want all of those movies on 4K. I want a nice box set, individual discs. Give me a nice booklet as well. There's a lot of stuff that I want with Nightmare on Elm Street, guys. But I don't know, guys. It would be so stupid of Warner Brothers to not do a big box set of all the films. To just do the first one this year. I know that some people think we're just going to get the first one. And I, I kind of do as well because I just feel like we'll be done dirty like that. Um, but how stupid would it be to not just do all of them on 4K? These would sell. Charge whatever you want for this box set. I hope for a, a, a decent cost. But charge whatever you want. Everybody will pay it. We want this. We've been waiting for this for the longest time, Warner Brothers. You have to give it to us. All seven of the Nightmare on Elm Street movies, you can throw the remake in there if you want but we don't need it, but you can throw it in there if you want. I just want Nightmare on Elm Street, Nightmare on Elm Street Part 2, Freddy's Revenge. I just want Dream Warriors. I just want Dream Master. I just want Dream Child. I just want Freddy's Dead. I just want New Nightmare on 4K. Please, for the love of God, give it to us and don't just give us the remake on 4K. I will lose my flipping mind if that happens. I'm trying not to curse too much this week. I opened with an F-bomb last week and I felt really bad about it. So I'm not doing that this week, guys. But I'm fired up. Nightmare on Elm Street remake on 4K, guys, before the original on remake. What do you think of this? What do you make of this? What is your opinion of this? Do you think we're going to get the original? Do you think we're going to get all seven, all eight movies on 4K in a box set? Let me know in that comment section below. Okay, we're done with all that. Let's let's jump into the news. All that stuff is rumors, guys. All of it is rumors. Could happen. Could not happen. There's heavy indication that it's going to happen. There's pre-orders. There's listings on Blu-ray.com. But i just like to let everybody know it's rumors. If it doesn't happen, I'm sorry, but it didn't happen. Um, but let's go ahead and jump into the news, guys. We'll probably have to skate through this news because I took so long on the rumors section. But Ghostbusters Frozen Empire came out in the theaters this weekend. Um, is already getting physical media releases. And it's got a lot of physical media releases already available to pre-order uh, from Sony. Guys, we're getting a 4K we're getting a Blu-ray. We're getting a 4K Steelbook. There's a 4K Steelbook that's available to pre-order right now on Amazon.com. All these are available on Amazon. There's also a Walmart Blu-ray Steelbook that's available to pre-order on, on, on Walmart.com for 30 bucks. And there's a Walmart 2 Movie 4K Double Pack with an ice mold for 85 bucks. I don't know if this thing's actually cold. I don't know if they're keeping it cold with dry ice inside or what exactly it is. Um, but it's not, I imagine it's some kind of like blue statue or something inside. I don't know exactly what it is, but it has to be something substantial to charge $85 for this set. Um, and these, this is supposed this is slated to come out sometime in May, possibly early June, I would say. But that's not all, guys. There's another thing that I spotted on Walmart of the uh, 4K with a skateboard. There's like a skateboard 4K set as well. I don't know what the significance of the skateboard and Ghostbusters is, but there's a skateboard of Ghostbusters Frozen Empire on walmart.com. So all the exclusives as of right now, that's all we got. But it's already six exclusives, guys, for, for Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. I saw the movie over the weekend, and I'm going to be honest, I didn't hate it. I actually liked it quite a bit, and uh, I actually liked it more than than Afterlife. I didn't love it. I didn't think it was great, and it doesn't hold a candle to the first two, but I actually had fun with it, and I was happy with it because I did not think I was going to have fun with it, uh, but it was decent. It was pretty good. I like Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. I will buy it um, on 4K. Now let's go ahead and jump into the new Vestron Video Lionsgate Steelbooks, guys. These are Walmart exclusives, so 
there are it looks like they're already starting to just redo all the Vestron video releases that have come out. I, I don't know why they just don't go back to the beginning and do Blood Diner and do Choppy Mall and just, just take it from there. It seems like they're trying to do the most popular ones, but then they're doing one here that I just don't feel like is very popular. So it's kind of random what they're doing right now. I, I get Little Monsters. I get Shivers because it's a Cronenberg film. I get Maximum Overdrive for sure. That's a huge Stephen King movie. Um, but we are getting Layer of the White Worm, a nice steelbook of this from Vestron Video, a Lionsgate steelbook, which is a super nice steelbook. I think the artwork on this is incredible. I've never seen this film. I do have it in the collection. I do need to watch it at some point, but we are getting a steelbook of this movie, which this is a pretty obscure horror movie. I would think Choppy Mall and Blood Diner have more name recognition than, than Layer of the White Worm, but I, but I could be wrong. It's a cool steelbook either way, but we also had The Gate, which is a big horror film from the 80s, I would say. I watched this movie all the time when I was a kid. Uh, scared the crap out of me. So I'm definitely excited to get The Gate. I will probably end up getting late. I'm going to buy all these again, guys, just because I, I'm sick. I'm sick in the head. And I just love these steelbooks. And I love the Vestron video line. And um, yeah, The Gate is awesome. If you haven't seen The Gate, like it's just one of the best uh, kind of kid horror movies, but not like I'd say it's a little bit of a notch above Gremlins. Um, but it's very scary. It scared me when I was a kid. It probably wouldn't scare me as much now. I haven't seen it in quite some time, but the gate, I am excited to pick this up. Are you excited to get any of these steelbooks? Let me know in the comment section below. We also have Batman 89 getting a 4k steelbook re-release from Warner brothers on May the 28th. This is the same kind of blue design that they came out with. I believe back in 2018 or 2019, when these steelbooks came out and the 4ks of all the original four Batman films, the Schumacher and the Burton ones came out. I just don't know why they're just doing the uh, Batman 89. Why aren't they doing Batman Returns and they're doing Batman Forever, Batman and Robin. I know they did some overseas steelbooks of Batman and Robin and Batman uh, Forever recently, but uh, I don't know why they're at least not doing Batman Returns, but I'll probably get this because I don't have Batman 89 on 4k so this would be a good option for me to get that movie um on 4k but yes if you didn't get the blue uh batman 89 steelbook back in the day they are re-releasing it i don't think this is a walmart exclusive i think it's just available to pre-order um on amazon but if it is available to pre-order i will have the link down below as i will all the links for everything i talk about if it's available down below in the description. All the Ghostbuster Frozen Empire links will be down below. We also got American Sniper coming to 4K from Warner Brothers on May the 14th. So I talked about this a couple of weeks ago, the Steelbook coming out of this. Now we have an official announcement with a nice crispy slip cover, it looks like. So this is gonna be an upscaled 4K with HDR10 and Dolby Atmos. And yeah, I don't know how people are gonna feel about the upscaled 4K. I know that tends to be the case with the with films that were shot digitally. I'm gonna guess this film was shot digitally. Um, but the Dolby Atmos, people have to be happy with. You're gonna hear those bullets just flying by your head, those sniping bullets. Um, so yeah, American Sniper on 4K, Clint Eastwood movie. Are you excited about it? Let me know in the comment section below. I know a Clint Eastwood movie we do need on 4K that we don't have yet, and that's Gran Torino. Where the hell is Gran Torino on 4K? Come on now. Um, we also got a Rango 4K steelbook coming out from Paramount on June the 4th with an upscaled 4K as well with HDR10 and Dolby Vision. Um, this is a movie with Johnny Depp playing a, a gecko of some kind. I've never seen this movie. It never appealed to me. It never appealed to my kids. I think this came out when my son was like one or two and he never wanted to watch it. So I've never seen it. Is it any good? Maybe I'll check it out when this 4K steelbook comes out. It, it's a nice steelbook. It's got a nice slip cover and everything. So maybe I'll get it because it has a slip cover. I don't know. It looks cool, I guess. Are you excited for Rango on 4K, the 4K steelbook? That's the most important thing. Let me know in the comment section below. We also have Lisa Frankenstein coming to Blu-ray, guys, from Universal. And you know what that means. A 4K is coming out in six months. Uh, coming out on July the 30th. And uh, this thing, though, I, I will say this. It's not getting a 4K. At least not right now. It'll probably get a 4K steelbook in six months. Uh, just like I said. But only if you buy the Blu-ray, guys. Because you got to support the original release to get the 4K later on. It's so sick. Universal's game is just so sick. You don't see anybody else doing this kind of stuff but Universal um but they're the they're the best in the business at it what can you say uh this thing is loaded with features though like i gotta give universal credit on this this thing has a commentary with the director this has deleted scenes it has a gag reel and it has three brand new featurettes so lots of special features on this so i i gotta give it to them even though it's blu-ray and it probably looks fine on blu-ray guys look most modern films 
look fine on Blu-ray. And a lot of times, the Universal 4Ks, when they upgrade them, aren't that great. And they're not that much of an improvement. So if you want it, just go ahead and grab the Blu-ray and be done with it. It's Lisa Frankenstein. I'm sure it looks fine um, on Blu-ray. And it's loaded with special features. So that's definitely pretty cool. I, I will probably get that at some point. I don't know if I'll get it right away. But it looks like a pretty cool movie. We also got Drive Away Dolls, which is a Coen Brothers film. Or at least one of the Coens, I think, directed this. Uh, getting a UK Blu-ray set from Universal. This comes out on June the 17th. And this is inc includes a 32-page book and art card. So this is a nice like slip box deal. And it looks really cool. So I um, haven't seen this movie. And to be honest, I, I don't feel like I heard the best things about it. But maybe at some point I will check it out. We also got some really cool Kino Lorber announcements ca that came out this past week. We have Bad Lieutenant with Harvey Keitel. Got a 4K on May uh, the 21st. And this is getting a 4K restoration of the original camera negative with Dolby Vision and HDR10. We also got a new interview with the cinematographer and new locations featurette. So look, I'm liking this new turn for Kino Lorber. In the past, we, we've we only really gotten commentaries. And maybe they've done some new special features before on certain releases in the past. But I feel like most of the time when I'm announcing this stuff, it's new audio commentaries. And it's no new interviews and features. And Kino Lorber, the, it feels like they're starting to ramp up their special features. And their commentaries as well, which they've always done. And some other cool featurettes and things. I'm liking this direction for Kino Lorber, and we'll get into the other announcements. There's there's a theme here, uh, so that's very cool, and I hope that Kino Lorber continues because it feels like they're taking that next step, and I like to see it. Uh, we also have from Kino Lorber, Death Machine uh, coming to Blu-ray. Now, this is starring Brad Dorf. This one looks very intriguing. I don't know too much about this one at all. I think uh, Rachel Weiss is in it as well. This one comes out on May the 21st, and you're going to get three different versions of the film in this. You're going to have the U.S. version, the foreign version, and the newly created director's cut, which I imagine is newly created for this release. Now, this is a new 2K scan from the Interpositive, and we've got multiple new audio commentaries here. This is loaded with old features as well. And this is a, going to be a two disc set to fit all of these different cuts. So this looks like a really cool release and I'm definitely excited to get it, even though I don't know too much about it. You tell me Brad Dorf's in it and I'm just, I'm sold right away. You got Chucky, you got the guy from Exodus 3. Uh, he's a great actor. So I, I'm sold as soon as you say Brad Dorf. We got uh, the Perfect Weapon Blu-ray also coming out, with, which is a Jeff Speakman action kung fu movie. I don't know too much about Jeff Speakman, but this comes out on May the 21st. It's going to have a new 4K scan, a new commentary, and a new interview uh, with Jeff Speakman. So we got a brand new interview with the star of this movie on this release. So very cool, guys. Kino Lorber, like I said, turning over a new leaf. We also have Revenge of the Ninja that was also announced on Blu-ray coming out on May the 21st. And this is going to have a new commentary as well. No new interviews, but a new commentary. So yeah, guys, Kino Lorber, they're, they're ramping up and I, I am liking this direction uh, for Kino Lorber. Definitely excited for Bad Lieutenant, though. I've heard some great things about that Harvey Keitel movie. And guys, Imprint is coming in hot in the month of June. They have announced maybe their best slate that I've seen them do in a very long time. Like, I'm interested in almost every single one of these releases, and that rarely happens from Imprint. Usually, I'm interested in about two, maybe three, but like, I'm interested in almost every single one. Um, of these Blu-rays that they're putting out in the month of June. Let's start with the After Dark Neo-Noir Collection. This has six Neo-Noir movies, some modern-day noir films, uh, which I'm kind of getting more into the noir kind of mystery thriller genre. So this box set really does intrigue me, but the six films in it is Homicide from 1991, White Sands from 1992, The Crossing Guard from 1995, Heaven's Prisoners from 1996, under Suspicion from the year 2000, and Dirty Pretty Things from 2002. So like I said, I don't know too much about these movies. I was looking at the at the box set and these releases. It looks like they, there was some star power um, on these uh, Blu-rays. So I may actually look into this one and, and check it out. And we also have a Martin Scorsese Films of Faith box set, including the movie Silence, The Last Temptation of Christ, and Cundum. Um, is that how you pronounce it? Cundun? Um, I think I pronounced it wrong the first time. But anyway, these are all of Martin Scorsese's faith-based movies. Now, these all have releases elsewhere. But the selling point of this box set is this has new commentaries and features for each one of these movies. And there's a hardcover book that comes in this as well. And it's Martin Scorsese. So I imagine Martin Scorsese fans 
no matter what, are probably going to want to pick up this box set just because it's him. We also have the movie Secretary with James Spader and Maggie Gyllenhaal. So I've definitely heard of this movie before. Uh, heard it's a pretty provocative thriller with the two of them. So I'm definitely interested in this one. I probably will go ahead um, and pick this up. And we have Fresh, which is a gritty crime drama with Giancarlo Esposito, which is Gus from Breaking Bad um, and the villain of The Mandalorian. And we have Sam Jackson in this movie. Both of these guys are in this movie together uh, called Fresh. I've never heard this movie, but you, you tell me both of those guys are in the movie and I will probably end up picking this up at some point. We have the United States of Leland, uh, which didn't really sound like anything that interests me. Then I was reading like who's all in this movie. You got Ryan Gosling, John, Don Cheadle, uh, Michelle Williams. Like the cast in this is absolutely incredible. And... We have Ramblin' Rose, which is a movie starring Laura Dern during set during the Great Depression. So I, I love Smooth Talk with Laura Dern. This is around the same time period as that movie. Um, and Blue Velvet as well, which we, she was in. Um, so I might, I, I'm interested in this one as well. Like I'm interested in all of these titles and that rarely happens with the imprint stuff. So let me know if you're interested in this imprint lineup for June in the comment section below. So let's go ahead and jump into the deals guys. We got some Amazon deals, some cool Amazon deals going on right now. I will, like I said, link all of these down below, all the deals down below and all the pre-orders will be linked down below. And if you use those links, you will help support the channel, and I would definitely, definitely appreciate it. But we have Godzilla on 4K, guys, for $11.99, the 2014 Godzilla. We have Godzilla vs. Kong on 4K for $11.99. We got Top Gun on 4K for $9.49. We have the Creepshow 4K, guys, for $22. This is an excellent release. If you don't own Creepshow, the Blu-ray from Screen Factory, or any Creepshow, I would highly recommend this. The special features on this are great, and this looks great. Um, on 4K. Streets of Fire is on 4K for 1899, which is a Walter Hill film. Really, really cool movie. Uh, Midnight Run is on 4K for 2099. Silver Bullet is on 4K for 2450. Excellent 4K. I highly recommend this 4K. It was so good. Oppenheimer is also on 4K for 1999. Great 4K as well. The Scream 1 through 3 4Ks are currently 3699 like they've been the past few weeks. Um, and we also have Rosemary's Baby on 4K for $12.99. So that's all the big deals we got going on. If there's any other deals, because I am recording this the night before, by the time I put this up, I will also link those down below. So just check down below, guys. In the description for all the deals just check for them all down below under deals i'll have it listed um, in the description so let's go ahead and jump into what is new this week guys and i'm going to try to get through this as quick as possible because there is so much coming out this week it's such a long list guys such a long list but let's whew, i'm gonna breathe maybe i'll take a drink all right, let's go ahead and get into it. We have To Die For coming out on 4K, guys, starring Nicole Kidman uh, from Criterion for $34.99. This is also getting a Blu-ray release for $27.99 as well. I do want this one at some point, but it's a Criterion. I can wait until the July sale. We also got Primal Fear coming out on 4K, guys, from Paramount Presents for $35.19. I will be getting this in this week. It's something I'm I'm definitely anticipating. I haven't seen this movie in, in quite some time. The Iron Claw is also coming to Blu-ray this week, guys, from Lionsgate for $19.96. I watched this recently. Such a great movie. Maybe one of the best movies of last year. I, I would say probably in my top three of last year, to be honest. Great movie. Highly recommend it. We got Amelie coming out. Blu-ray Steelbook from Sony for $26.98. We have When Evil Lurks coming out this week on Blu-ray from RLJE for $16.98. Definitely looking forward to this one. I've heard such great things about this movie. We also have Wednesday Season 1 coming to Blu-ray from Warner Brothers for $19.96. We have All Ladies Do It. Uh, coming to 4K, guys, from Cult Epics for $28.99. Also getting a Blu-ray release for $22.98 as well. The artwork on this release, guys, is is outstanding. Let me let me uh, let me bring that in a little bit closer. Come on, come in a little bit closer. Looks pretty awesome, doesn't it? How about now? Enhance, enhance, enhance. All right, moving on. Uh, we also have the Bounty Hunter Trilogy from Radiance Films for $37.99. We have Paint Your Wagon on 4K, guys, from Kino Lorber for $25.99. We have North Dallas 40 on 4K from Kino Lorber for $25.99. We also have Knights of the Blood Monster on 4K from Blue Underground for $28.99. Also getting a Blu-ray release for a dollar more. Tell me how that makes sense. For
for $29.99. We have uh, six. We have six Warner Archive releases coming out this week, guys. They Drive by Night for $21.99. Three Godfathers for $21.99. Stand and Deliver for $21.99. Money Talks for $21.98. We also have The Little Drummer Girl for $21.98. And The Boob, Why Be Good for $21.98 as well. We also have The Inspector Wears Skirts uh, Part 2 coming out from 88 Films for $25.98. We have Good Burger on Blu-ray coming out from Paramount for $19.98. We have Out of Darkness coming out from Decal Releasing for $4. $14.69. We have St. Omar coming out from Criterion for $27.99. We have the Book of Clarence coming out from Sony for $24.96. We have Power Rescue coming out from Wellgo USA for $17.98. We have Dark Knight of the Scarecrow 1 and 2 coming out on 4K from VSI. Also getting a Blu-ray release as well. We have Monk Season 5 coming out on Blu-ray from Kino Lober for $30.99. We have Born to Fly coming out from Wellgo USA for $18.37. We have Film Noir The Dark Side of Cinema Volume uh, 18 coming out from Kino Lober for $30.99. We have Indicator and Powerhouse releases coming out this week. Five of them coming out. Uh, the Batwoman on Blu-ray for $23.99. Snapshot on 4K for $28.99. Also a Blu-ray for $23.99. We have The Panther Woman coming out on Blu-ray for $23.99. We have Santo versus The Riders of Terror for $23.99. We have Patrick coming out on 4K for $28.99. Also getting a Blu-ray release for $23.99. We have some Vinegar Syndrome titles coming out this week. All of the March releases from Vinegar Syndrome, the partner labels, all that stuff. I'm not going to get into specific titles. They're all going to be available on Amazon, as is the Severin uh, March titles are also going to be available on Amazon um, as well. Or I think the January titles, Burial Ground and a couple of the other ones are all going to be available on Amazon uh, this week as well. So there you have it, guys. That is the Physical Media Report, episode 204. I hope you feel more informed in the world of physical media. If you can, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Also, comment down below of everything that we talked about. What are you the most excited about? Turn on those bell notifications for all future videos and follow me on all my social media accounts. Those links are down below in the description and we'll see you next time.